Welcome to part three in our series on home energy audits, where Byron Burns of Energy Logic tests our ductwork and the performance of our furnace. This testing, along with the general energy inspection and blower door test documented in parts one and two of this series, shows you what goes into an Energy Logic home energy audit. So now let's check out the mechanical room here. It's quite warm in here. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> the rest of the house is still fairly cool, but you walk in the mechanical room and it's 20 times hotter than the rest of the house. So that yeah. tells you where all the uh, duct is actually leaking is probably right here in this area. So you're heating the center of the house and actually just this side of the house before it actually meets to the rooms and all the areas that you want it to actually heat. So. We could definitely find some areas to improve in here just for that. Just like up here, this is definitely, this is a, a seam of the, the supply line, or the supply trunk for the ventilation system. So you can see holes in it there, which is where the heat is being dumped out into this room, which is heating it up. Um, so that would be definitely an area for mastic, uh, and just sealing up the ductwork where you can. Um, there are some products out there since this is all you get to see of the, the duct work, um, there's some products out there that they come in, they'll actually block off the, uh, the heater and everything, and then blow in an aero, aero, aero seal into the duct system, which will, it's like, um, kind of like gum. It, it goes through wherever there's a hole, it'll stick to the tin and build up a, an air seal there. So that's uh, one way to take care of houses that are hard to get to the duct work and, least seal it up for you. Um, so I'd maybe stick with those items instead of replacing the furnace right now since uh, it's, you're looking at way too long of a payback. For go. So we're setting up to do a, a duct blast and what this is going to do is it's going to measure how much the, the actual uh, heating and ventilation system duct work is leaking and if I use the duct system the duct blaster in combination with the blower door, I can figure out exactly how much is, or not exactly, but get an idea how much of the uh, uh, heated air is actually moving outside of the house every time the furnace runs. So, pretty handy tool. <coughs> the uh, principle on it is similar to the, the actual blower door. We measure how much air goes into the system to uh, raise the, the pressure of the duct system a little bit and if we know how much air it took to do that we know how much air is leaking out everywhere else. So. so what's it looking like? Feel the air leakage around here. See the cobweb kind of flapping in the wind there. Yeah. So you can kind of feel all the holes that are created in here. Yeah. Like I said, a more important place to seal is around the unit and then kind of working your way out from there. Uh, check here um, today to make sure that it's burning efficiently and uh, is all the exhaust is going where it needs to go. So, so this is a, just a monoxer. It's made to measure the parts per million of monoxide that's going, carbon monoxide that's going out of the uh, flue of the combustion appliance. The, the more carbon monoxide that's going out is related to how efficient it's, it's burning the, the fuel in there. And if you get a really efficient appliance a lot of times there's not much carbon monoxide at all being produced from it. So we'll uh, let this run out here, get an ambient reading of all the carbon monoxide in the house first, let that kind of chill out, and then we'll uh, turn on the furnace and get everything boiling there and uh, go from that. Alright, let's see if I can find a hole here. So, so now you're getting the reading? Yeah, we're reading directly into the, the, the exhaust of the, the furnace. And like I said, this is a 
a reflection of how efficient the, the actual burn is going inside the, the combustion chamber of the furnace. So theoretically, you want this pretty close to zero or you know uh, down in the low end of the parts per million there. And right now we're reading about one part per million carbon monoxide as it goes. So that shows that we've got a, it may not be efficient delivery, or you know you might be losing a lot of heat out the flue itself, but it's actually burning fairly efficient on the okay. inside there. So that's that's so good. So the enough. furnace is functioning. Well. Furnace is functioning well, uh, the way it should. So that kind of also goes to show that it, it's not worth replacing right now. You'd spend better money working on the delivery system, getting the heat to where it belongs that way. So. Okay. We hope that our three-part video series has given you a good sense for the key components of a home energy audit. To learn more about how we put the information in Byron's audit report to use to improve the energy efficiency of our home, visit our blog at blog.greenteamre.com. Thanks for watching.